Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you some vintage things uh, I had in my stuff and uh, I've got them now as a digitals on my Etsy. The link will be down below. So all this is together in one listing on my Etsy. There are those banknotes. Uh, this is front and back if you want to glue it together and make like banknote. Front and back of another one and these are actually uh, real sizes of these banknotes there is small uh, like paragon or receipt and there are those two sheets there is one envelope here and to that envelope are going these small photos photographs that's that's the real name of that it's eight of them uh, in this small envelope and I do have here just a strip of adverts and something a little bit more to fill that sheet up do not leave you with a nearly empty sheet so some few more adverts uh, and uh, today I'm gonna create this small envelope and few of those banknotes and I really believe it can be beautiful uh, insert or um, you know like decoration in your journals so first I'm gonna tell you uh, these are printed on a 60 GSM paper it's very light paper and uh, I choose that paper just because also those banknotes are very fragile I can show you the proper ones so these are originals and I need to be very careful because they are real really fragile it's from you know very soft paper so that's why I choose a 60 GSM paper to print them out and this is how they look like in the real. So if you will choose some soft paper, some uh, just basic printer paper, not heavy one, to print those images, they are on one sheet. So I'm gonna uh, start with these images. I print them, as I said, I print them on very light paper. Uh, here I left it together. So what you're gonna do with this, it's just fold it half like this, put a glue on one half. I'm gonna use glue stick because for this light paper and to glue it easily and do not have their books of glue glue stick is the best choice I'm gonna fold it back and with my bone folder I'm just gonna flat it I do have white edges so that's what I'm gonna cut with my scissors and here uh, I would like to have it, you know, double-sided, so I'm gonna put a glue, and I forgot to, oh, yeah, this way, forgot to have a look, oh, stay, and then to place this over top, and again, with bone folder, I'm gonna flat it, and if, if there will be some, uh, not straight cut it edges like I do have here, I'm just gonna use my scissors, and same I'm gonna do with this third one so I do have my double-sided images done I think here I place it upside down okay <laughs> so I do have this one and I do have this one and I think I'm gonna use um, I think I'm gonna take just tea dye distress ink and very lightly with the brush I will distress the full bank note especially the edges same I'm gonna do here if you don't have distress ink, there is a way how you can distress with pencils. You just need to uh, use some sanding paper or um, I do have here the file nail for, uh, I mean file for my nails. <laughs> so you will take uh, any kind of pencil you like and you will need to brush the colored uh, stick inside. Or brush like you know sand your colored colored stick to make light powder and then you can use a brush or you can use your finger dab it on your finger and with your finger I'm gonna just We did shading with pencils all the time when I was small and it did work amazingly well. I just forgot those old techniques. 
I'm gonna show you probably on on the white paper. So I'm gonna take a brown pencil. Or if you do have nice color of your uh, eyeshadows, use them. Eyeshadows can be used also for uh, for distressing, and they do mostly work really well. So with your colored pencil, it's dirty on your fingers, but it works. So I do have my bunch of banknotes and this small uh, receipt and double-sided banknotes. I used for edges also walnut stain distress ink and here I just added a little bit because I already had that, that brown pencil. And I'm gonna take these prints and I'm gonna cut out the envelope and all, all that other stuff. So I have cut all these images from those two other sheets we've got this envelope these two ephemeras and then small pictures in which are going inside to that envelope and these small embellishments i hope all can be used in uh, journals as decoration i'm gonna take small ruler and on the side or over the side edge over the edge of that ruler i'm gonna fold the paper or that envelope it has always here kind of like um, the deeper side so I'm gonna fold all of them over the edge of my ruler and I'm gonna use the walnut stain distress ink and distress all edges with walnut stain I think on all of these ephemeras here uh, as you can see here is the line which should be cut it will be entry for this edge of the envelope so i'm gonna take a knife and ruler and cut through to that line to make it open like this so now i can close those sides and close these sides and the locked all that envelope in it in this small cute packaging before i will put it all together i'm gonna use that distress ink and distress all images so i do have everything distressed uh, i also saved few of cuts from the edges maybe i will use it for for stamping i do have everything distressed with walnut stain this one and uh, i folded it uh, you've got we've got this cut and because there is still space it's not full this envelope so we're gonna create an, mini envelopes for these small notes or card notes note cards note cards it's i think the right word we've got beautiful kind of vintage photos note cards and i was thinking to decorate it a little bit not too much so I've got here these uh, adverts which were under the, the, those pictures and I cut them on pieces and I was thinking maybe they can be beautiful as decoration as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it a little bit more smaller. So I cut those adverts a little bit smaller with just rounded edges. I think I will place them somehow on my pictures. So I've got here this beautiful washi tape with that uh, blue tone and I really like that blue so I'm gonna put the washi tape here I'm gonna distress the edges so I've got here uh, this is uh, Spectrum Noir Harmony uh, it's called smoked pearl but it's nearly it's not this color it's kind of like nearly this dark one uh, kind of like brown not brown uh, like black one you can see that brown just on big place you know if you will color it with this uh, big cardstock so you can see that brown but the first look it looks like it's uh, like a uh, black one I'm sorry for mumbling 
So I think I'm going to place this one just right here. I'm going to fold it over the edge. Yeah, like this. And I'm going to use the stapler. Put there a little bit of glue. So I know I will cover probably all that picture underneath, but I'm making my small collage. I'm going to put there the stapler. I got here back of my uh, postmarks. So I'm going to choose one. Place it here. And with Tim Holtz stamps, I'm going to stamp there just small red circle. Just very soft stamping. Just like that. And that's all. I'm going to decorate this some kind of similar way. So I do have my mini collages done and it was really easy. I think uh, I like the most when I do have just uh, washi tape one postmark and then stamp and these are uh, small circles i bought it when i received you know from uh, from marley that that packaging that amazing packaging she sent me those circles with numbers and then i googled it and i found these uh, these are mer merchandise like for clothes the sizes and you can buy them on ebay on amazon they, they, they are kind of everywhere if you will write uh, around clothes size stickers or something like that it will show you so many of them so i bought them because i think they are a very cute decoration kind of like you know small letter and i really like those where it's just washi tape and the postmark and this sticker and then stamp of course stamp i like them the most i think it's just sim simple decoration but it makes beautiful beautiful collage uh, postcard or uh, note card and we're gonna make small small envelopes so i got here book page i do have my uh note card and i'm gonna give it a try if i will fold it this way and if i will fold that bottom yeah they are covering each other so i can actually use my note card inside fold the book page from one side fold the book page from opposite side as well kind of make sure i can fit inside my note cards so one side the opposite side okay i'm gonna keep them folded i'm gonna fold this side over the edge and this side over the edge it looks like i will have two envelopes from one book page so here i'm gonna cut it about half inch or one quarter of inch uh, here i'm gonna cut it about one quarter of inch next to that fold i'm gonna open this and i'm gonna Cut here, this one, cut here, this one, so this will be the pocket of my envelope, it will go there like this, I guess. Okay, this will be better like pocket of my envelope. <laughs> so I'm gonna make same from this side. Cut this. I'm cutting this in small angle, like really small angle. Like here is the fold. So I'm cutting in very small angle to the cross here and here also in the angle. So I'm gonna fold the sides fold the sides put there a glue 
here and here and fold this one and I do have base for my envelope it will hold one of my mini note cards and this will be like a closure so here on the opposite side I can decorate it so I have distressed a little bit edges uh, of my envelope with that uh, tea dyed distress ink and I still have some left over on my brush and here I do have just simple address labels I bought uh, in our local post office so I'm gonna use my brush on one oh, I'm gonna color a few of them because I will do few of these envelopes so I think I'm gonna use the first the label no first I'm gonna use exactly same uh, masking tape or washi tape like I used on my postcards and I'm gonna place it on my envelope so here on the bottom I will place my beautiful washi tape now I'm gonna take this address label and I'm gonna make sure I can actually use it here to kind of fold it over the edge yes like this and I'm gonna take some postmark maybe right this one first I'm gonna draw some uh, stitching all around if you do have a uh, label sticker I mean that post uh, post label sticker just use that as decoration I'm gonna just draw just simple line use this postmark glue it down and use some stamp and make just easy stamping and that will be it like this and I do have envelope with a mini note card inside so same way I'm gonna create envelopes for all my cards so I do have my bunch of envelopes and inside are those decorative uh, mini pictures or note uh, note cards and it can be closed very easily including those envelopes which I'm very happy about it it's it's a little bit uh, thick <laughs> But I still can close it. So then you just need to find the right spot for your mini pack. So maybe here. And for all those beautiful ephemeras to stack them in your journal. To find something where you will like to have it. So maybe here. Oh, this one. Could be nice here. And this one. Yes. And we have pocket here. We have this beautiful which way? Ah, this way. See? I forgot. So here. And we have this one that can be here. And we have these small things. They can be used as decoration, you know, to add there somewhere. So I think I'm gonna stack them for now in one of the envelope everything to leave it for future owner and that's it <laughs> so i hope you did enjoy that this is small sharing uh, i've got i really enjoy to do those small envelopes and to decorate those pictures i think they they look so cute and it's nice uh like collection so you can make collection for your friends if you want to give them notes uh, note card collection oh not notes note card collection you can use these uh, images and uh, put there your stamps post uh, postage stamps and maybe some uh, washi tapes oh maybe some washi tapes and decorate it the way you like if you like butterflies put their butterflies you know the, the stuff you like and then make small small pack of gift pack of 
mini note cards. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Thank you so much for visiting me. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.